your free copy, Freddie Says Newsletter. Free copy. How you doing, Tap? How you go? How you doing? Oh, wonderful. It all started in 1988. I went to a Yankee game. I was retired. And uh, I was very disappointed. The fans weren't cheering. The Yankees weren't playing very well. Matter of fact, they were in last place. And uh, after the game, I got in touch with the uh, vice president of community relations, Mr. Dick Kraft. And I asked him, is it possible maybe I can go around with a sign and perhaps I can get the fans to cheer. Maybe they would wake up the Yankees. They gave me permission. And uh, I remember as a kid, during New Year's time, we used to go in the hallway and wake up the neighbors by banging in on pots and pans. <laughs> well, it may have been good for the hallway, but I wasn't sure it was good for the Yankee Stadium. But we figured we'll try it. So I got myself a staff piece of wood, drilled a hole in it, and stole my, free, my sweetheart's frying pan, broke off the handle, and I put some signs on it. And what I did, I went around from place to place in the stadium, and I handed the people a spoon, and I said, let's wake up the Yankees, give them a good luck rap, which is what they basically did, and I show them how it's done. One of the uh, very first frying pans that I used was this one here. And when you hit it, it didn't seem to make enough noise. So I disregarded this one. Then I had another frying pan, it was a small one. And uh, just like the Liberty Bell, after being struck so many times, it finally broke, broke open. So I needed something a little more substantial. And I got this aluminum one, and when you hit it, sounds pretty good. It does make a lot of noise now, doesn't it? Then finally, this frying pan is a very, very special frying pan. It was used in 1996 for the whole season, and it really became known as the Lucky Frying Pan. The mayor of the city of New York enjoyed many times to hit this for good luck. But at the close of the season, the frying pan was stolen by one of these young enthusiasts. And I didn't have a frying pan available at the time, so I used this one. But it doesn't make much noise. The Daily News wrote a story about this frying pan. Three days later, the frying pan came back to the Daily News. They called me up and they told me, Freddie, we got good news for you. I said, what could be good news there? We got your frying pan back. I said, I, I couldn't believe it. After having all those frying pans, I'm working on a brand new Four-leaf clover, four-leaf clover, and that's what it's going to be for the World Series. I may test it out tonight if I get it done in time. I lay it out in pencil, and then I'm going to go like this. And shamrock has a little bit of a dip to it. And then I'll go like this, and I fill it in like that. And then we're going to make the stem of the shamrock like that. And we'll give it a little bit of a base there. And then we'll just fill this in like that. I hope it looks like a four-leaf clover. Put a washer, a lock nut, and a nut. Yeah, let's make this 
spoon. This is not the regular spoon on here, so let's, let's see what happens there. I guess that would make enough noise to wake up them Yankees, huh? Come on, you fans, let's start cheering them Yankees! In the beginning, I used to buy tickets, and of late, the Yankees have been treating me to some free games. I do not pay to get in. That's it. I don't know if the Yankees are going to enjoy to hear that. Wrap it up today, Freddie. When I was about nine years old, we were playing stickball. And I was in the wrong place at the wrong time or the right time. I don't know the way the statement goes. And the party swung the bat, threw the bat, and I was getting up because I was the next person up at bat. And unfortunately, uh, the bat went into my eye and ripped it right out. I guess it was just one of those things that was supposed to be. Okay. Look at the camera, Freddy. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, new one. Oh. Boy, Freddy. Oh, yeah, What's boy. the World Series? What is that? Yeah, let's win the pendant. <laughs> Now, before I can make a sign for whatever I'm going to do, I have to get a little idea of what I want to say on the sign because you just can't go like that. So I'll write down something on a piece of paper and then I'll lay it out the way I want it do it. Now this is going to be for tonight's game, which is the last game, ho last home game of the season. And what I've done, I, I love to kid around an awful lot, if I may. I put down, instead of saying, let's win the pennant, I put down, let's win pendant and then win <laughs> the World Series. <laughs> Pardon me if I laugh, I think it's funny. Well, is anything that I might uh, put on the sign, a lot of times, sometimes especially when I'm asleep, my mind is constantly working, even when I'm sleeping. And I don't fight my mind because we're together with each other, the body and the mind together. Uh, and if my mind thinks of something, I might just jump out of bed, or if I happen to have a piece of paper handy, I might jot down something that comes into my mind, because on occasion I get a little bit absent-minded and forget what the heck I thought of. Then I will try to get something that says something good about the Yankees. Uh, I do not generally criticize the opposition, because I, I don't think it's a very good idea. But occasionally I may kid around with the uh, Boston Red Sox because they're, they're our constant, <laughs> they're not our enemies, but it's something you gotta, you, you tease each other, give a little, take a little. At every game that I go to, I make up two signs for the front and the back to be put onto the poster. And this was just a couple that were I started, like I say, giving them away, and then I started to collect them. And this is from 1988. At that particular time, I just signed my name on it in black lettering, and that was it. Subway Series 1900, 1990 rather, 1991, 1992. Yeah, Yankees, go ahead. Got 93. <laughs> It's a pile of stuff there, 93, the year of the Yankee, 94. <laughs> oh, God, this was a load, a thick load of side there. 1995, a whole big collection there. 96, I had to tell Mr. Steinbrenner, keep your hands off for the Yankees. Let the manager take care of everything. 1997, that was a disappointment. I thought for sure we were going to win the championship at that time. This was 1998. 
98. Oh man, this is a pack. And they did win it all. Well, anyhow, we're headed for the year 2000. And I'm, I'm really hopeful that the Yankees are going to do it this year. These are just a couple of the signs that I have done. Going to go to the uh, Cooperstown Hall of Fame. These are just a couple which I'm giving to them. There's one poster that may not go to the Hall of Fame, though. Uh, there's a, <laughs> a sign over at the corner of the place there. It says, Freddie says, Go Mets, win, so Yankees can beat you in the Subway Series. <laughs> I hope the Mets will forgive me for this, but I had to make a little fun anyhow. I really do want the Mets to win. I don't want them to beat the Yankees, but I want them to win so that the Yankees can play against them. That would be something very great for the city of New York. I think everybody